when we sometimes hear blanket statements like all lives matter or you need to apologize for being white or you know there's just a statement that are that are that are made and you don't know how to respond to those can you address that well the perspective of being a christian minister i was saying all lives matter and you know i was on my soapbox with that <laughs> because as ministers and even just as people of god believers we have to be all inclusive But as the Holy Spirit began to work on my heart, the love principle trumped the other principles that I was thinking about when I would say it. I was coming from a place of love and respect, but I could see that it wasn't being taken that way. It reminds me of when the Apostle Paul, and he was talking about, I'm paraphrasing, he was talking about having faith to eat whatever kind of meat or food that you want. But you know your brother doesn't have faith to do so. So are you going to trample all over that fact and take the chance of making them stumble? No, you're going to sit there and graciously say, no, thank you, I'm not having meat tonight. (laughs) So I graciously removed my All Lives Matter banner for a season. It doesn't mean I don't still believe that, but out of consideration for my Mm -hmm. little brothers and sisters that don't understand that, it feels a different way to them. And it feels even more so a different way to them when a white person is saying that to them. Right. As for the other, I think the undue pressure to apologize is not the Holy Spirit's got it. I don't think that is what the Holy Spirit is after so much. It is case by case, individual by individual, you know, what you feel the Holy Spirit is leading you to do. But there's a story that came to mind, and it has to do with that blood guilt principle. In King David's day, 2 Samuel 21, that chapter, there was a famine that came, and it lasted for three years, and it looked like it might keep going. So King David and the priest inquired of the Lord. They said, what is going on? And Father God answered. He said, it's because the blood guilt is up on the land, because Mm. of what? King Saul did to the Gibeonites. I saw the principle that I talked about earlier about my son, his blood crying out from the ground and, you know, all the unjust deaths, their blood cries out from the ground. I wondered, what did King Saul do to them? And it turns out he broke covenant with them. And in his zeal, he tried to just wipe them off the face of the earth. So it's another, like I said, it's another principle to me. King David and his men were not a part of that. They weren't the ones that did it. But he apologized on the the behalf of Israel and his kingdom. He not only apologized, but he asked them, the remaining Gibeonites, what could be done as retribution. The main thing that I think I'm trying to say is they asked God for guidance. They asked him what it was, and he told them. So bringing that into today, it's still a principle. So under the Holy Spirit's guidance as Christians, we do what he says. He's the leader. That way, when we do what he says, whether it's an apology, whether it's whatever God leads, in that way, any criticism or misguidance of the scriptures, it just falls away because we've done what the Holy Spirit has said. In my own heart, there is a correlation between these two things, these all lives, black lives matter, and the you need to apologize between the situation with the racism as well as the situation with abortion. And both of these things are horrific atrocities that the blood cries out. And until we pause to realize that we are wrong as a nation, we are wrong. We are guilty before God. And yeah, no, I, you know, we haven't personally killed anyone, maybe, you know, and maybe some of you have, but even if we haven't personally done it, we are part of a culture that allows it, tolerates it, even makes it legal at some point. And so to just recognize that before God, you know, that's in in 2 Chronicles, when you will humble yourselves and pray and seek my face and confess your sins, it's, it's okay for us to say, this has been so wrong. This is so wrong. And I'm sorry that this is happening. This is wrong. And I think, like you said, before God, each situation is different. But it's an attitude of humility versus pride, an attitude of of humility versus angry self-defense. And when we set those things aside and we just say to God, say to Jesus, you know, what do you want me to do right now? How do you want me to respond right now? How can I pray right now? This opens up the way for us to move forward. 